And welcome to your Gold Market Update and Charts of the Day for today. It is Thursday, the 20th of July, 2023. Mike Smith in Alistair Gold Markets here to lead you around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, we had another positive session again across all major indices last night. Early earnings continue to surprise to the upside, although we did get both Netflix and Tesla looking a little shy when they reported after the bell, and we're seeing a reflection of that in the Nasdaq futures today. Earnings are likely to dominate headlines again. US futures are slightly down in the Asian session, but Asian markets are generally positive. In this morning's action, the Nikkei is the only index of the downside when last we looked at the SX. Did drop a little bit on the back of some stronger than expected jobs data, which of course gives a little bit more of a green light to the RBA. Currently trading around 0.15% of the upside. European futures are pointing to a cautious open and the VIX remains historically low. US dollar index looks weak again today. Did pick up a little bit during the session yesterday, but again, starting to drift down in the Asian session. Gold has edged higher again, looks really strong in Asia today. Not only did it breach 1980 key level yesterday, but it's, it's added to that in today's trading. It looks as though in the not too distant future, we could see a test of 2000 again. Copper remains steady around 385 and oil also may retest the 200 EMA. A bit of a choppy session yesterday. It did get up there, but then just pulled back again, but wouldn't be surprised to see it move higher once more. Bitcoin is back into range, holding that 30,000 support. And as we've said, earnings season ramps up. The PBOC kept rates steady in China. Um, as we've already intimated, the Australian jobs beat expectations slightly. We've got US weekly jobs, the Philly Fed Manufacturing Index out later from the US. A couple of charts that caught our eye. Uh, we'll look at a gold chart. And you can see on the 30 minute chart, we are looking to breach this 1986. The R3 pivot is at 1993. So we'll look as though we could be up for a move towards that. Just to put this into context, let's just pop it on a daily chart. And you can see the move we've had up on that USD witness after it bounced off this 200 MA at the beginning of July. So we do look as though we could quite easily test 2000 and maybe even 2020 over the course of the coming days. On the ASX, we are seeing AGL continue to move higher. Uh, we can see after last week's breach of $11, we've moved up very nicely. Got stuck a little bit around this 1180 area. And if we look at the weekly chart, we can see that perhaps there is in the short term uh, some pause possibly around about this 12.20. So there's certainly a move up to there on the cards, but then there's a nice dollar and 60 potential upside on this technically going forward. So still remains a potential medium term hold on this utility stock. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.